What's going on, Shadow Fighters? It's Boss Demata right here, and welcome back to yet another video of Shadow Fight 3, where we're going to be facing the last day, the final day of the Full Moon Riddles, because we're going to be facing the Torturous Nightmare. And what I want to do is, to for real, and I mean it, for real, have the first mirror match. So I'm just going to go head over to Customize and apply this set to the skin. Although, as you guys saw, that I already put Shadow Limits Die as my preferred uh, Torturous Nightmare set kind of style. But today we're going to be rocking around with this skin against our own, our own super boss, you might say so, you might say so yourself. So right, without anything else to say, I think I'm just going to head back over here and equip this set as we speak. And there you go, that is the wonderful Brazilian costume as we all know it. As we all know this this suit right here, and there's been a drawing contest going on, and I'm already taking part of my of this skin right here. And I'm actually making a uh, art for this skin. If you guys don't know, I was actually live streaming two days ago where I was sitting down and applied the color element, just basic color, onto the whole entire sketch that I just made before I went to the third step of the of the art making. But now I'm pretty much uh, almost done with that art. If if Unless I find other ways to actually make it better, which I will take my time into doing so during the coming days. But for but for today, we're going to be doing the full moon riddles. We're going to go through the final days and see what it's all about. It's the last festival day. If we find the right answer to the riddle today, we'll see Midnight Lotus in his true form and earn his tasty lucky rewards. And which is, the last riddle is really short. I dwell in the skies looking at you. What am I? It may be sun or the moon or a crow. So many answers. Well, in the sky as well. If you say all the birds, if you say all the birds and stuff like that, well, sure, sure, it might be a possible answer, but really, hmm. So it's something in the sky. So we only see birds, we only see planes, we have skies as as itself. The sun is uh, the sun is what we see. The moon is what we see. But midnight lotus. Past riddles taught me that the right answer doesn't have to be the only one possible. Tell lotus this. The answer depends on who's looking at the skies. Hmm, that that actually that actually it makes a lot of sense. So past riddles again, I repeat, past riddles taught me that the right answer doesn't have to be the only one possible. Tell Lotus this: the answer depends on who's looking at the skies. So well, if you look at Alien, they're just gonna see something black with the skies and only see stars. If you if you're like existing in another planet and just look up, that'll be a that that that's probably within another context. If I want to say so myself, but uh, in Earth itself, in Earth itself, whoever whatever we looking at, like for me, for instance, if I look at the skies right now, all I see is blue and clouds. And earlier today, I saw a moon. So yeah, defeat Lotus, and now they change it to all of this, which is uh, which is really really. Hmm. All right. So crow, moon, or sun. Crow gives the lowest reward. Moon gives the second highest, and sun gives the highest rewards. So the fangirl was telling about it depends on who sees it, and we get another midnight lotus. And let me see right here. So it's another midnight lotus, but we get to we get to see the torturous nightmare set, and also another funny thing is we get to see the lion's gaze helm. Up and showing up right there, just like a one-time free opportunity for Boston Modern to complete the set that he's been craving for for so long. This set right here, if I scroll down this red line set, and in which I unfortunately gotta say no because it is quite costly to my economy. If I press this button, it says, do you really want to buy this item? Well, is it? It's only one million. Yeah, it's only 1 million. I actually thought it was going to be 11 million. It's like one kind of reward that Boston Martin is going to buy. But will he really buy it though? And this and this dogma piece of armor right here costing 14.4 million. But firstly, I want to up my perks. That's my first priority for everyday basis of Shadow Fight 3 as I speak right now. But really, but really, this is like an offer that I can make and it's 3 million and I'm already going down. But actually, during this week, if there's going to be any returning event after this one, which I actually am quite certain that there is going to be, then I'm going to be grinding that event, going through that with Torture's Nightmare. 
and uh, get some points and get some coins so I can grow up my economy and uh, win like that. So for 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 this occasion though, I f I was saying no because it looked like it was 11 million, but it really wasn't because when I looked at it again compared to the 14 million dogma armor, this one didn't this one didn't have smaller digits compared to this one, and that's when I realized oh it says do you really want to buy this item? So I just realized oh it's actually 1 million so. If I will have like 30 million already, this is probably what I would like to buy. So, for for this rare occasion that I do, I'm going to buy it. So that we finally complete that set. And that means we only have two more legendary cards to collect. And I'll be sitting down with 10.4k power. And I still have some other sets that I haven't collected in June's Play Part 2 or 1 pack as I might say so myself. But those are the those aren't my concern. My actual business is actually going to be collecting tokens, not to use it on the rare packets of luck. No, 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 no. I'm actually planning to claim the torturous nightmare set as we speak. And you might say why? Because you, because I was saying earlier that I wasn't going to spend anything regarding going to increase my power. Right? Well, this is this is where the exempt set exception lies because I want to use Torture's Nightmare as the strongest gear and for one particular kind of reason is to undergo duels faster. I want to undergo duels faster with Torture's Nightmare set but then again I might be also thinking whether or not to really do it because I have other ways to finish the game fast but if I use Torture's Nightmare self set I can get up to Legendary League really fast and uh, I'm starting to face 30k players, 30k bots on my way to getting to the highest power. So, really though, I might be sitting down thinking about it, but let's actually go, let's actually go and check out the Fumo Riddles. We're straightforward going to guess if there's any of these options because Fangirl said that it depends on who's looking at the sky. Well, we get three options, Crow, Moon, or the Sun. Like, they're all dwelling in the skies, right? They're all dwelling in the skies. I dwell in the skies. What am I? So I'm just going to be hearing for what Fangirl has to say about this and then figure out the rest. And this video is just going to be revolving around solving this riddle as uh, yesterday. And what is this? We face the Monkey King? Excuse me? Hmm. Well, that was weird. I really wonder what those other possible answers were then. If that is a thing right there. So we're facing Dynasty Mano a Mano as we're talking right now like I did last time and so far we're just gonna be winning this torturous nightmare set is the one that can is the one that I use to dominate events and thus the ones that I use to grind three events and now since I won the first round lighting went off and now we see the rough texture of the light particles model that was actually showing up right there as you guys can see you see the rough topology that's been happening on the face right there yes I see it too I see it too I just asked me if you guys saw it as well Alright, we're beating up Sun. We're beating Sun. The Sun that dwells in the sky. So, round three. What is it? Well, this story pretty much revolves around uh, us getting getting right with our riddles probably all the time. I really start thinking whether this riddle for today is going to be... I, I really wonder if this riddle is going to revolve about us getting the right answer, I really wonder. That's what I've been sitting down thinking for a little bit while, as we're speaking. Do that, fire this, ah look at that flow. The flow of the Dynastian Warrior himself, using the brand new skin that I just obtained. Alright, let me see what it is. The sun and the moon and a the crow, they all dwell in disguise, they, they all can't be the right answers. Or are they? I'm so confused. I dwell in the skies looking at you. At who exactly? If I am a worker, it's the sun look at me. And if I'm a night wanderer, it will be the moon looking. You get it, right? Like, like if the answer depends on who's being looked at. Yeah, that I actually, I actually got that idea because hey, you're, hey, the moon's looking at me because I'm a, I'm a night shift worker. Oh, that's when the moon's looking at me. But everyone's just sitting down there. Everyone just sitting down there under the same sky. The whole idea is about us 
underneath the same sky because we live in the same planet. This isn't this isn't within the context of us uh, being in different planets. Let's have that in our mind right now. So we go ahead to the full moon riddles and get our answers straight away without even thinking, or maybe I should be thinking because we're sitting down there. We're sitting down there getting these three concrete answers while while Fangirl says it depends on who's looking at, depending on the who is being looked at, which kind of person is being looked at, depend will determine what he's looking at. That's the idea from Fangirl right there. So that is the old reflection I'm gonna be going through and see what we see right here. And what do we see though? Midnight Lotus, the true form of Lotus. Dang, man, we actually see the true form of Lotus. And look at that, we actually get a mirror combat. Let's go, man. Sure, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun, isn't it, true form of Lotus? Facing yourself, that is. Look at that, man. We're smacking it down with our own skin that we just upgrade like three to four days during this event right here. So, I think I think this is gonna be going pretty well, as we as far as I say so myself. She said that if we answer this riddle right, then we get to see the true form of Lotus. Look at that. What are you trying, mate? You haven't even hit me once. Look at that. And yet, you still get knocked down and you wasted your shadow ability, mate. What is this? I'm just scoring all out on you. I'm going all out on you, true form of Lotus. <laughs> they made you a little bit cheeky right there. I, I actually wasn't really surprised that they written down the uh, Midnight Lotus, but then uh, they were going at us with the true form of Lotus as we're speaking right now. Alright. Oh, he's hitting me with this nightmare. Nope, it's my turn. My turn. Alright. You know, I have my variety right here. All answers are correct. <laughs> that actually makes sense too. I was thinking about that because uh, that means she was right. That means she was right, because everything that you see at the skies is what's looking at you. Alright, yeah, we did it. Just look at these, all of these magical mooncakes. I'm so happy. I could only make it with you. You on, you alone. You're the best. I need to share these lucky mooncakes with my family, or I'll burst. Please visit us when you can, and don't forget me. Well, you freaking fangirl revolving around everywhere at this point. Alright, so we got 127. And uh, whether or not I want to buy the Torches Nightmare, I, it really depends because that's the only thing I can really spend my tokens with besides of besides using this and test my luck over here. So there isn't really much for me to talk about at this point. That's gonna be it for today's video. I'm not gonna be. I think I'll be. I think I'll be sitting down thinking about that while I'm also doing the art to contribute for the Facebook contest as we're speaking. Also, I hope you guys did enjoy this video right here. And if you guys did, be sure to hit that like button to show some support. And another thing worth mentioning is I'm close to 500 subscribers. We're eight subscribers away until reaching that point. And thank you guys. Thank you guys for everyone who's been subscribing to me so far and enjoying my videos. It's been highly appreciated. And this is what actually makes me want to make more videos and share my thoughts and my moments with you guys. So until then, until then, well, I'm just going to continue my commentary, my little setup right here. And if you still enjoy my overall content, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you become a part of the boss of my community where I play fun games like this one and share some news and take my own decisions on whether or not to to buy the torturous nightmare or what to spend my economy for this event on there will be a conclusion video afterwards since we now are on the last day of the event so until then i'll catch you guys in another one